Understanding Faith in Marriage, a Deep Dive for English Learners. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to explore the meaning and use of the phrase, faith in marriage. This is a common expression in English, often used in discussions about relationships and personal values. Whether you're learning English for personal growth, academic reasons, or just for fun, understanding phrases like this is crucial. So, let's get started and dive deep into what faith in marriage truly means. Faith in marriage is a phrase composed of two key parts, faith and marriage. Let's look at each word separately. Faith, in a general sense, faith refers to complete trust or confidence in someone or something. It's not just about religious belief. It can also mean having confidence in a person, idea, or institution. Marriage. This term refers to the legally or formally recognized union of two people as partners in a personal relationship. When combined, the phrase, faith in marriage, talks about having trust and confidence in the institution of marriage itself or in one's own marriage. Now, let's see how this phrase is used in different contexts. In personal relationships, here, Faith in marriage can mean having trust in your spouse and the strength of your marital relationship. In social discussions, it can also refer to the belief in the concept of marriage as a valuable and important institution in society. Understanding the context is key to grasping the full meaning of the phrase. The phrase also has a cultural dimension. In many cultures, marriage is regarded as a sacred bond and having faith in marriage might be tied to religious or cultural beliefs about the sanctity and importance of marriage. Let's see some examples. 1. Despite the challenges they faced, they had unwavering faith in their marriage. 2. Her parents' successful relationship gave her faith in marriage as an institution. These sentences help illustrate how the phrase can be used in real-life conversations. I hope this video has given you a clear understanding of the phrase, faith in marriage. Remember, understanding such phrases is not just about the words but also the cultural and emotional context they are used in. Thank you for watching, and keep practicing your English!